Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Today our guest is Father Colin Xavier and we're going to be discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from Medjugorje, which is a little village in Bosnia-Herzegovina where Our Lady has been appearing since June the 24th, 1981 and still is today to give messages to everyone in the world, messages to turn back to God, to love one another, to have peace in your hearts, to pray with the heart, to read the Bible, to go to Holy Mass. Welcome to the program, Father. Thank you, Mirella. <laughs> it's always a joy to be here on this program. Thank you. And um, also to start, before we read Our Lady's message, would you like to give all our viewers a blessing so that we can all be in this state of grace to receive the message? Sure. To all our viewers, thank you for being with us and to hear the messages of our Blessed Mother she is right now here with us and gives you her blessing. May Almighty God bless you through the intercession of Mary, our Mother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. So I'll start with reading the message. The message is on the 25th of July, 2017. Our Lady said to everybody in the world, Dear children, be prayer and a reflection of God's love for all those who are far from God and God's commandments. Little children, be faithful and determined in conversion and work on yourselves so that for you holiness of life may be truth and encourage each other in the good through prayer so that for you Life on earth may be more pleasant. Thank you for having responded to my call. So it's such a beautiful, beautiful message for today as well. Our Lady said, be prayer and a reflection of God's love for all those who are far from God and God's commandment. So for those who understand that, you know, we have a responsibility to be, to be prayer, be, to try and just pull ourselves in and be prayer and be a reflection of God's love. You know, for all those who are far from God and God's commandments, so that they can also believe and also have this union with God. Yes. Because there's no other way, you know. Mary is a beautiful model of prayer. And uh, we always find her through scriptures. You know? yeah. And then again, she was prayer to her cousin Elizabeth. She was prayer to her neighbors around. And I always yeah. encourage them. Today, in a very special way, Our Lady calls us to be prayer, especially to those who are far from God and His commandments. And um, I think our own prayer life uh, is a must today. Yeah. There's no other option. Yeah, true. Absolutely. Our Lady said, little children, be faithful and determined in conversion and work on yourselves so that for you, holiness of life may be truth. So here she's saying, be faithful. So first of all, we need to be faithful, but also determined in conversion. Like, don't stop reaching until you really receive, until you really feel that you have, you are converted, like that you really feel the presence of God with you. It's, it's, yes. I like the word she used, be determined in conversion. So just to really work at it, like really work at it. It's not something that, You've got to do it. Even the visionary Ivan said, you have, he, even he has to convert every day and he sees yes, Mary. Yes. So it's something, it's something we re all need to really work on that we have this, always focus on this presence of Jesus with us because we forget that he's with us. You know, we get yes. caught up in our stresses and, you know, yes. difficulties in life that we forget that he's really there all the time. That's right. And uh, just reminds me when Our Lady calls us, yes, number one, we need to be converted every day. Mm. Um, by His grace, by her intercession. And um, so we've got to work on ourselves. Uh, William Wordsworth put it so beautifully well when he says, more things are wrought by prayer than the world dreams of. So it's my prayer life, my working on my own, conver my own conversion to the Lord every day, dying to my own selfishness, my own sins, that I will be able 
to bring others to know Jesus yeah. and to love him. Um, so Jesus also says uh, elsewhere in the Gospels, you know, it's prayer and fasting. So yes. that's how yeah. I need to work. Our Lady calls us to fasting and prayer as well. Yeah. Uh, it's only that's one, uh, the most important way for us to bring others to conversion to the Lord. Yeah, she did say that. She even said, with prayer and fasting, you can reach every goal. You can stop wars and also you can stop natural disasters. But you won't know, but she didn't say this part, yeah. but you, you won't know unless you actually try yes. it. Like unless you actually pray, pray and fast, you, you won't know the power of it. Yeah, and that's why she also said, work on yourselves. Yeah, Constantly. I love that. Yeah. We may think, okay, this mm. is the time or this particular day, but mm. everything yeah. I do, becomes prayer yeah. when I'm working on myself. Yeah. And if I'm conscious of it, you know, more graces uh, accompany us. Yeah. You know? so, what is, so work on yourself so that for you, holiness of life may be truth. So I guess she's also, she's saying work on yourself so that your truth will be holiness. So your reality will be holiness. Yes. You know, that's And beautiful. that will shine. Yeah. The truth will set you free. Yeah. When you try to, when you are honest, when yeah. you live in the grace of God. Yeah. You, you cannot help but let the light of God shine through you. Yeah. You know, and that's definitely, uh, when Jesus is with us, he's the light, he's the way, he's the truth. Yeah. And um, Mary helps us in a, all, yeah. all along the way. But we never get discouraged. Yeah, exactly. And you see it in other people. When you see yes. other people loving and denying themselves and they do something for you, or you, you see that holiness in them. You just, yes. There's this beauty that's... Oh, somebody comes to my mind, like, is Mother Teresa. Yeah. You know, she looked so rugged, you know, um, tough. Yeah. But there was something beautiful that emanated from her. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Well, we have to go to a break. But we'll be back with more very shortly. Stay with us. You're watching Spirit of Life. See you after this break. Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Colin Xavier and we're just discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 25th of July 2017. Our Lady went on to say, and encourage each other in the good through prayer. And encourage each other in the good through prayer so that your life on earth may be more pleasant. I just thought that's beautiful. It's like we need to encourage each other in the good. After I read it, I was thinking, if I see someone doing something good, I'm just going to encourage them more. It just gave me more, you know, enthusiasm yes. to encourage them more. And I started doing it, thinking, this is really, she's leaving us messages for today, for right now, what we're going through. Yes. And also to encourage each other as well. I think she means encourage each other if they're struggling, pray, encourage them to pray as well. Like, that is a good thing, yes. you know? Yes. Prayer does make us beautiful people. And uh, when I see someone struggling or falling along the roadside, if I'm able to encourage them, give them a lift, you know, they will find helping hands and they know there's no one condemning them, but they say, well, I still have a second chance. Yeah. God gives us yes. a second chance yeah. all the time. And yeah. so he wants us to encourage one another. Exactly. And Not encouraging judge. one another, we become Christ to the other. Yeah. Yeah. And I all think, the saints yeah. have taught us that. Because yeah. too many people judge, you know. Even Mariana was saying that we shouldn't be judging each other, you know. That's Rather right. than judge, we need, there needs to be more love, you know. Yes. More charity. Yes. And so she also says, so that your life on earth may be more pleasant. So it's also a win-win. She's saying, you know, you encourage the other to be good, your life's going to be better too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know? And I think whenever we encourage someone with a sincere heart, yeah. Uh, we just don't see ourselves as doing something very different, but it just comes out naturally. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and that uh, makes my life a joyful one. Yeah. You know, to be able to see someone else happy, someone else lifted, someone else rise again, yeah. someone coming back to the church, yeah. you know, um, long um, 
enmities again, all reconciled and healed, this joy again. And yeah. we see this in families, we see it sometimes in neighborhoods. But yeah. when we point accusing fingers, we destroy one another. Yeah, exactly. And nobody wins in that situation. No, no. It's and Our Lady wants us to encourage one another. Yeah, I and mean, she said it herself, we have to encourage each other, yes. not judge and condemn each other. Just tr find out the good in each other. Pick out the good. You'll be happy yes. if you pick out the good in the other. They'll be happier because you're right. noticing something That's good right. in them. You That's know, right. it's just... That's right. I don't know why the politicians don't tell everybody this. <laughs> That's what you should, this <laughs> well, should be on the news. Yes. <laughs> this should be what everyone's told to do. And then, of course, she ends it with, thank you for having responded to my call. Yes. But on her birthday, Our Lady said on the 5th of August that it is her birthday. The church celebrates it in, on September the 5th, the is 8th. it? Or the 8th, on September the 8th. But Our Lady said to the visionaries in Medjugorje that her birthday is actually on the 5th of August. So she also appeared on that day and gave a message to Ivan for everybody in the world. I'll just start by reading it. Our Lady said, Our Lady appeared to the visionary Ivan on Mount Porbador. It was the last day of the Medjugorje Youth Festival. Here is Ivan's account on the encounter with Our Lady. The transmission has been translated from Croatian to English. This evening, Our Lady came to us once more particularly joyful. First of all, she greeted all of us with her maternal greeting. Let Jesus Christ be praised. My dear children, Our Lady said, Then with her hands extended, Our Lady prayed over all of us. Then she said, Dear children, also today I rejoice with all of you. Again today I ask you to make your choice for Jesus. I see so many young people who are coming back to Jesus again, deciding for Jesus and changing their lives. Therefore, I ask you to pray. Young people, pray for the family, young people. The Madonna prays for all of you, especially in this time of grace. Pray more. Pray so that my son may be born in your hearts, so that he renews you. Thank you for having responded to my call. She then blessed all of us with her motherly blessing. Our Lady continues to pray for all of you, Ivan said at the end of that. But isn't that such a beautiful message, you know, really encouraging all the young people, you know, it's such a, and they're, they're changing their lives. So we'll start with the first part. I'll let Jesus be praised, my dear children, she starts with. Dear children, also today I rejoice with all of you. Again today I, I ask you to make your choice for Jesus. So that's, that's what we all need to do. You know, young people, old people, everybody. You know, people in nursing homes who think they've got nothing to live for, it's them too. It's everybody. Everybody, people who are like not enjoying life anymore, people just to make their choice for Jesus. Everyone has this chance, you know? Yes, that's right. Uh, very true. And that's why Mary, like a mother, comes. Her, first of all, her joy is to see young people yeah. clinging on to her son, because, uh, turning to her son once again, because they see something different in Jesus. Yeah. And young people, someone once said, are a strange lot. You know, you, you ask for some things, they give you nothing, or you ask for everything and they give you their all, or you make a difficult, a difficult choice for them, something like that. They know, they know deep in their hearts that uh, they are made for something beautiful, yeah. that they are, they're called to make a difference. And so Mary, our mother, is so happy to see them, and she blesses them joyfully. Yeah. And I think um, even today, no matter whatever, whatever way society is going, there are a lot of young people who still meet for World Youth Days, who still meet right now in our own Archdiocese of Melbourne, all preparing for next year's Year of the Youth. Yeah. And they're going to Sydney, and just giving their hearts Beautiful. to Jesus. Yeah. And of course, he, need, he deserves all the praise the Lord. Exactly, yeah. and that's so beautiful. Now, this is something everybody can do. They yes. give their heart to Jesus, believe he's with them, yes. believe he's here. We have to go to a break now. 
you're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. We're here with Father Colin Xavier, Catholic priest in Melbourne, and we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 5th of August 2017. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you, Mirella. Um, and also, I'll just continue reading. Our Lady said, I see so many young people who are coming back to Jesus again, deciding for Jesus and changing their lives. Therefore, I ask you to pray, young people, Pray for the family, young people. I'll stop it right there, but it's so beautiful because she, she's, prom she's telling us so many young people are actually coming back to the faith. You know, People get disillusioned with the world and they think, oh, what is going to happen to the young people and this kind of conversation here. Yes. But it's just beautiful. She's, she's telling us that they're coming yes. back to the yes. faith and it's something really hopeful. Young people are our future. Yeah. They are our hope. On one hand, where we find quite some young people just going astray, destroying themselves. But you see a big number wanting to do something beautiful with their lives yeah. and um, hearkening to this beautiful mother of ours, you know, listening to her call. And, um, uh, and as she calls the young people to turn back to Jesus, they see something different. It's a challenge all the time. Yeah. But here we can we see these young ones really want to give their all. Yeah. Uh, I get a few young people just recently had a young man, faithful, no matter whatever time, wherever he may be, Father, I do my best. I never miss my weekend mass, my Sunday mass. He says, um, Oh, I I'll, I'll try to go to, for confessions anywhere. And with him, he's not alone. There are a few others. Yeah. And so beautiful to see them. Yeah. Making that effort, tired from work, you know, still want to give their best yeah. to God. And I, I think I really admire them for that. Yeah, no, that's and, really uh, It gives beautiful. me a lot of courage. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And also the faith of children, like the, the belief in Jesus, the prayers. It's, it yes. starts from when they're children to bring them up in the faith, you know, so yes. they are strong in their faith, yes. even yes. as teenagers to carry them through. Our Lady said... Therefore, I say to young people, pray, pray for the family, young people. So in particular, she's saying pray for the family, like the family really needs prayers to be united, to be loving, to be holy. You know, we need that yes. now. That's that's a true thing. Um, the Madonna prays for all of you, especially in this time of grace. Pray more. Pray so that my son may be born in your hearts so that he renews you. Thank you for having responded to my call. So she wants us to pray for yes. the family, to pray more, pray so that Jesus will be born in our hearts and that he yes. renews us. That's so, yes. so powerful to let him renew us. Well, when she says the Madonna is praying for you, yeah, you know, it's well, so wonderful yeah. that your mom is praying for you. Yeah. I, I'm, you are my precious ones. Yeah. Um, I know when I tell the kids, the children, you know, Father Colin loves you very dearly and, you know, he prays for you. And you'll get the little ones yelling out from their own seats, Father Colin, I'm praying for you too. As oh, they put out their hands, I'm praying so for you sweet. too. And uh, the different responses. And I can imagine the joy of Our Lady yeah. and the joy of the young people also, just giving themselves, doing their best, yeah. taking up the challenge every day, fighting all those negative forces yeah. that are a big pressure on them. The thing yeah. is, it's almost like, the, the terrible thing about this cool, being cool, is that it's, it's not cool. It's taking people away from the church. It's saying it's not cool to do that. That's really evil, really. It's not yes. cool. It's evil when they do things like that. Yes. You know, it's just, yes. it's yes. destroying the joy that could be yes. built in their hearts to make their lives flourish. Yes. So that's why we come back to the first point when we encourage them without finding fault, without putting them down. Yeah. We can show them, to be honest, you say, see, this is life. This is what, you, what the Lord wants to give you. This is what you were created for, to do yeah. beautiful things. The yeah. other is just destruction. Yeah, you know. well, I, I had this really absolutely beautiful experience the other day. We were driving to Mass, my daughter and I, 
And um, I was thinking, I hope we make it on time. You know, we're early for Mass. And um, before the priest comes on the altar, because it's always better to be there then. And this man, when I said it, I was just thinking it. And this man gave way, you know, so I could pass through. And he didn't have to in that moment because he could have kept going. He wasn't obliged to. And I didn't. I said, oh, thank you. And I waved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as I was driving, I said to Nina, I said, we also have to thank Jesus because he allowed us to just go through because he wants us to go to Mass. So he allowed this man to stop to go through. And it was just like a moment like that. And then I went to bed and this friend of mine from church gave me this book on Maria Valtorta, Poem of the Man God. And it was about this little section on marriage and family and everything. I was reading it. So beautiful. It was all about Jesus' life. And I was reading it. I'd go to sleep and I'd read it again. If I couldn't sleep and I'd go to sleep again. And I kept going on like that. And that night I had this dream that Jesus was there. Like he was just standing there in front of me. And he was saying basically what I was saying to my child. I'm here. Acknowledge me. Like I said, we have to acknowledge yes, him. Yes. I'm here all the time. Acknowledge me. When it's stressful, when, when it's too much, I'm actually right there. You can't hear me because it's the stress That's going on. Right. But That's I'm right. there. And I woke up with the, the most beautiful peace in my heart that I just well, want everyone to feel the same. I want everyone to have a dream like that. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Even yesterday's gospel, yeah. the moment Peter yeah. said, bid me to come across. Yes, come along, says Jesus. And then he gets and then he sees that wave and, yeah. and he gets frightened. And Jesus is always there as he stretched out his hand to help yeah. Peter. He stretches out his hand to help you and me and all of us. Yeah. And... Um, to give us that lift. I'm here for you. Yeah. I'm always there for you. And that's what Our Lady wants us to know. Her Son is always there for us. Yeah. Young people in a special way, old people who find the burden too difficult. Yeah. She, Jesus is always there for us. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's yeah. We just have to hang on to that, you know. Just, yes, trust, but, keep yeah. trusting, keep trusting. And I think also it helps if you try and see Jesus in people around you. Yes. Because you're not looking at them humanly anymore. You're looking at Jesus in them. And it actually brings out something spiritual in them when you do it. You might be scared to do it because it's a different way of yeah. approaching life. But it's, it but just brings says, out something. But he says, whatsoever you, you do to the least of my brothers yeah. and sisters, you do to me. Yeah. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me. So yeah. it is Jesus we exactly. are ministering to. Exactly, exactly, yeah. All right, well, it's been wonderful having you on the show. The show's come to an end now, but would you like to come back and do another show? We've got to do the 2nd of August message for 2017. I will. I will. Thank you, Marilla. That'll be lovely. Thank you. All right, well, you've been watching Spirit of Life. I hope you enjoy the program. We'll see you again soon. Bring, bring.